Alexa, turn on studio. Okay. That's one of the main ways I use Alexa is by just giving a command and using things like this, like the smart plug to turn on different things around my office and around my house. In this video, I wanted to show you how to use the Alexa app. Now, the Alexa app does a lot more than connect to Alexa type devices like the Amazon Dot here. But it could also do things like read an Audible book for you, or you could find different skills and play games within the app. So I wanna do a broad overview, but I know most people use it to connect it to different devices from Amazon like the Dot, so I'll show you that. Then I'll kind of give you a brief overview of the different things in the app and what each of them means. Let's jump in here to the app. And the Alexa app is available for any smartphone here. So I have it right here. I'm gonna stop saying Alexa because every time I say that, this activates. Uh, on the homepage here, you have a lot of options. You could tap right here to talk to Alexa here. So you could see it gets activated as soon as you tap. But you could also press this to type things out. And I should note, you don't actually need the dot device or the show device or any Amazon device to talk to Alexa. The app actually could do that for you. So if you want to give commands, you could just use the app. You don't need these devices. What's useful about these devices is that when you have them, you don't need to open up the app. You could just use the device here. So back to the homepage here, if you have Audible, you could go ahead and press this and play on this device, or if you have the Echo Dot connected, you could play your audiobooks there. Very, very useful option there. Now, besides that, you could add contacts and you could link music services and ton of different options. The homepage is gonna give you popular skills and so on. But I'm gonna show you the dedicated places for all of these here. So let's go to the Communicate tab here. And what you have here, if you have one of these devices, you could actually make calls share pictures with these Amazon show devices that have a screen, or you could drop in. So you could actually make announcements or drop in to other devices. It could be within your own house, or if you connect to someone else, it could be in their house. It's very, very cool, this option here. Then you have under the play option, again, you have Audible where you could play any audiobooks if you have an Audible service. You also have Amazon Music here if you have the service to Amazon Music. Let me scroll down a little bit more. Let me go to the bottom because I wanna show you that you could actually link other services that Amazon doesn't own, like Apple Music or Spotify. You could link those and then use Alexa here to actually connect with them. Let me go to the Devices tab here. Under the Devices tab, this is typically where you wanna get started by pressing the plus sign here and adding a device. Now, for example, an Echo device, like the one I actually have right here, could be connected here or the show devices or a number of other devices could be connected here. And like I showed you, these smart plugs could also be connected, but some brands won't be connected right here by pressing the plus sign. I'll show you a different page where you could connect different brands that are not showing up here. And you can make groups here. So when I give a command, my entire group, for example, this office here I have, or the studio, the command turns off and on all the lights connected to those outlets or power strips. So you can make groups that way inside of this section as well. I could also change the temperature if I have a smart temperature device like the Nest. So let me try that right now. Alexa, change the temperature to 71. The heat's set to 71. There you go. It just changed the temperature for me just by giving that command. Again, I don't need the dot. I could just talk to the Alexa app and it could do that for me. Finally, let's go to the more section because this is really where everything takes place under this tab. The first thing you would do here is you would attach a device or connect the device. Now here you could see the echo. I've already connected the echo right over here. You just press that and it walks you through the setup process and I have different videos about connecting different devices. So I won't cover that here. And connecting smart lights, smart plugs like I have, smart switches, cameras, all those are available here. But some devices, for example, I know this one was not part of the smart plugs, at least this brand wasn't, even though this was the number one selling plug on Amazon. So what I ended up doing is actually, let me show you this other section. I'll go back under setup. You could go to skills and games here and add a skill. 
What a skill is, is basically you're teaching Alexa to do something for you. <laughs> I said it again and it popped up. But for example here, I just search for Smart Life. So I search for Smart Life. And that was another app that I had to get to connect some of my devices. So I had to get that app, connect the smart plug within that app, and then connect that app to this app. And then everything worked within this app. I never have to use that other app. So sometimes you have to search for a brand that you do not see when you try to connect devices here under added device. Then you have list and notes. Again, very useful to-do list, shopping list, and just leaving notes for yourself. And again, you could go ahead and read out loud and have Alexa remember a note for you. Let me go back here. You have reminders. You could set Alexa to give you a reminder. Alexa, add a reminder for me to get milk. When should I remind you? Tomorrow at noon. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at noon. By the way, you can now set monthly and yearly reminders. To try it, just say something like, remind me to pay bills on the first of every month. There you go, so you have reminders there. Then you have alarms. Alexa, set an alarm for 7 a.m. Alarm set for 7 a.m. tomorrow. Would you like this alarm set for every weekday? No. Uh, there you go, that's your alarms and timers. You have routines, so you could set a routine. So every morning that you wake up, Alexa has a routine that it follows. So you say, you know, what's the weather today, Alexa? And set a routine that way for that. Uh, and then under see more, you also have some other options here. But skills and games is very, very useful because it lets you connect a lot of different things to this application here. And if you have the external devices, it will also work with those as well. That's all part of this section here. And you have settings and activity here to show you what you've been doing with that. So just to summarize, what you would do first is come under more, add a device if you have it. If you don't have it, just go to the homepage here and you could talk to Alexa here anytime by just pressing this or just calling its name and it will wake up and it will listen to your command here. And under the communicate tab is a great way to make calls and share photos or even drop into another device. If other people have the Alexa app with the Echo device, for example, you could go ahead and drop in those or make announcements. Announcement is really interesting. You could type out something or say it out loud and it will go ahead and announce it on the different Alexa devices. Very, very useful option inside of this page. And remember, you could stream audiobooks here Amazon Music and connected to all the different platforms here for music streaming. Those are all available here. And now if we go back to the homepage, some of this might be familiar to you like browsing skills. I showed you that in the settings of adding different skills. You could just make announcements again. You could see that over here now, make calls. So I'm getting one of those show devices that has a screen so you could actually make calls with that. And it's gonna give you some other options to learn more about the app as well. But that's really the majority of what the app has to offer. Remember, the search option right on top is really the critical part of the app if you don't have one of those devices. So you could go ahead and click there and then just use the microphone to ask Alexa any question you want. And then you could give a commands on the, the other section that we looked at under the more sections where you have lists and reminders and alarms and routines and all the different skills for connecting any device or connecting any number of games and platforms into this app so you could use your voice command to activate it. And that's a brief overview of using the Alexa app here on your iPhone or your Android devices. Thanks so much for watching. I post easy to follow videos just like this one every single week on this channel covering really useful apps. So please subscribe if you found this one useful. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.